Uh. Hello, welcome to the Datu Camgen facility. My name is Andre Pignatiello, fourth year PhD student, and I will bring you now in a short trip inside this facility. This is the accelerator hall. The DCF hosts a 5 mega electron volt tandem per electron accelerator meant to simulate irradiation damage to materials. This big tank in front of us contains a huge chain made of polymeric materials. This chain moving creates an electric charge by mechanical transportation. The electric field accelerates the charged particles to the target sample. There is also an additional 2.5 mega electron volt per electron accelerator that can work combined with the first. The charged particles are produced by these two sources. The Torvis for the protons using hydrogen and helium, and the SNICS for EV ions. With protons, the maximum current is below 100 microamps, while for EV ions, it is around 10 microamps. Positive ions are produced as argon is used as a gas stripper that removes electrons. At the very end of the corridor, we have the magnetic fields that split the main beam in different beams for the different beam lines. This is the control room from where the beam can be monitored. I've used the beam to irradiate vanadium samples with protons, getting results quite similar to neutron irradiations reported in literature. This in front of us is an hyperpure germanium spectrometer meant to monitor samples activation during radiation. This is the target room. We are now crossing the shield. These are the different beam lines. This one is the ion pump meant to provide along the line the ultra height vacuum of 10 minus 7 tors. This one is the quadrupole which applies magnetic fields in order to focus the beam. This one is the Faraday cap meant to measure the beam intensities. The beam can also be steered by magnetic fields through these instruments. This is the chamber where the stage with the sample will be mounted, so the end of the beam line. Here the stage, the sample will be mounted through this tantalum shield. The scanning area can be from 0 0.5 to 6 cm square. The stage can eat the sample up to 400 degrees and temperature can be monitored simultaneously by thermocouples and the thermographic camera. Also, there is an electrometer to measure accurately the charge deposited on the sample. This is more or less the main things. 
I hope you enjoyed it too and uh, I hope to see you soon in the Dalton Campaign Facility.